So that part, you remember where we were at? So um, everyone went out. The police were coming. I saw red lights. Yeah. First time ever I seen red lights. Yeah. Right? I I look one way and you were right beside me. <laughs> I, I turned. You're butt, full out sprinting. You're, you and Josh are <laughs> You gave me no warning. <laughs> Fam, it's it's like common sense, bro. Like, like me and Josh knew what time it yeah. was. <laughs> no, but like the thing is, you didn't even warn me. I, I turn around, you're gone. You're you're <laughs> gone. So I start sprinting. I'm like in winter boots, fam. I'm like, yeah. oh my god, I can't catch this guy. I've never seen I've never seen you ru run like that fast. Cause we're running from the police, bro. That that's the first time you ever ran from the police. Though. No lie, my head was going crazy. Cause I, I saw red and, and blue. I'm like, what yeah. the f is going on? <laughs> Like, like I, I froze, but but y'all y'all knew what time it was. Y'all yeah. were in demon time. <laughs> no, because me and Josh, we kind of have that. We we think the exact same. <laughs> exactly. Like you can even see on the podcast, we think the exact same. <laughs> no, that's fine. Like whatever I'm doing, like he already thought of it too. Yeah, like yeah. we're we're on we're on the same like wavelength. Yeah, yeah. Like I move my foot, he moves his foot already. Know, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, because it was probably like you guys both saw it. Mm. Coordinated, boom! You both yeah, ran. Yeah, cut. And then and cut. then here's the thing. So you and Josh split we up. We split up. We split you up. Split up. Mm -hmm. And then I was like. Shit, should I follow Josh or follow? <laughs> I'm like, I right, I know Carlos more. I'm gonna run. I'm gonna try and run and catch him. Yeah, but yeah, bro. That shit was the funniest thing ever. <clears throat> and you know how um I told you that my coworker. Yeah, your know, coworker. You know about the podcast. It's so funny because after the meeting, mm -hmm. she's like, "Yo, you have a great uh, customer service voice." Oh, really? She said that because you know how um uh, the customer service voice. You're like, "Oh, welcome to Ryerson. How may I help you?" Right? Yeah. And then she watches the podcast. She's like, "Yo, this is actually how you talk." <laughs> I think I have. I have like a deep, deep enough voice where I can just narrate shit. No, you can. <laughs> right? Imagine like um those ebooks. No, nah, okay, I'm not. I'm not that level. No, nah, I would buy a Carlos ebook. Yeah. Pause. <laughs> Pause. But yeah, I would buy a Carlos ebook. Yo, but going back to the police. Yeah. That was the first time you ever got in like trouble though, right? Oh yeah. Or like, but it was you not were, even trouble. It, you though, weren't like, even in trouble. Yeah, we weren't even in trouble. Wait, did you tell me to hold it? Because I think I remember, you're like, yo, Gavin, carry my bag. I'm like, uh, <laughs> uh, Wait, did I, did I say that? Yeah, I think you did because I was holding on to something. Wait, what? That was, no, I didn't. No, you did because I remember holding your Versace bag. I remember that gold Versace bag. That's, yo, because I remember we were at the party. and Nah, like, I didn't nah. tell you to hold it. No, we were running during the party when, like, the cops were coming. They are like, yo, you're like, yo, hold this for a second. I'm like, uh, for a second. <laughs> <laughs> that shit better be 30 seconds, man, where I'm dipping. I'm throwing your bag. Nah, okay, okay. I remember, I remember it was, it was, like, another party. I gave it to Sophia. <laughs> <laughs> I remember that. I guess it's Sophia, yeah, right? Yeah, you did, you did. Everyone held that Versace bag at one point out of the party. And then one time it was like Michael Orlando. I remember yeah. that. I don't remember that one like so clearly. I, I don't know why though. But it was funny because um, uh, at one party too, mm. we were still all inside. Yeah. And then we heard the cops coming and shit. And the man started panicking and like jumping over the fence oh. into other neighbors and started booking it down. Where was this? Or was it the one where we ran from the cops? I think it was that one. Okay, but... Every single party you went to, the cops showed up. Yeah, I know. Like, the, the, like if the cops didn't show up, it wasn't a party. Yeah, yeah, that's <laughs> it was right. a get together. I know, fam. Oh my gosh. I remember that the Dino party. Oh yeah, yeah. The man got stabbed. Yeah, that was. F I was like, oh. Uh, that was fun. Oh, wait, I'm surprised that happened. Like, it didn't even seem like that type of vibe. Yeah, yeah. Yo, let me tell you a story about that too. Yeah. So this is the first time. You know how you leave your shoes at the the front door, right? Mm -hmm. This is the first time I stole something. So oh my I took God. I took someone's clean white Air yeah. Forces and left mine. Yeah. And I was in the car chilling. I get a call from Eric, one of my boys. He's yeah. like, yo, do you see my like Air Forces? <laughs> I'm like, wait, size 11? I took Eric's I'm like, oh Forces, shit. <laughs> and I took his. When do you take the pure monies? <laughs> nah, I don't know. I wanted clear Air Forces. Oh, yeah. I guess so. Wait, you <laughs> left You left um, Air Forces? I mean, um, pure monies there? Nah, okay. I wear some shit. I never wear nice shoes to a party. Word. Especially one of those parties. Yeah. Never wear nice shoes. That's one thing you taught me. Because mm. I used to wear like, I used to go to parties wearing like my best shit. Nah, Like wearing bro. Jordan. The only time I wore really nice shoes was Denzel's party. When was that? This was like grade 
this is great early grade 10 yeah, yeah but denzel had a huge party mm -hmm. and then that was the only time i wore nice shoes because i knew denzel and then like that was our end yeah yeah you know what i mean because yeah. like i can i can wear it i could wear it like on my feet that's yeah, not gonna yeah. be a problem but like yeah. in like other parties mm -hmm. where i don't know everybody it's gonna be like uh, oh for sure nah especially in it's canada. not safe it's not it's safe not, it's not especially in canada you have it's like polite to take off your shoes at the door yeah, yeah exactly like us mm -hmm. in the us you don't take that shit off yeah for some reason it was weird mm -hmm. <laughs> I remember at, at Denzel's party though, we ended up going into the school, you know, the Bannon school. Really? Yeah. No way. So one of our boys, he was there at the party and he yeah. has the keys to the Bannon school. Oh, what? <laughs> how? How do, you, how do you obtain something like that? Nah, so like they found their way in. I'm yeah. just gonna say they found their okay. way in. Yeah. And then they found keys inside there yeah. to the school. Mm -hmm. So they're chilling in the school whenever they wanted. What the fuck? I, I said this in Josh's in Josh's podcast, remember? There's like a whole war there too. There's like a turf oh, war. Oh, there, there was a turf war, yeah. 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 Th those mans, they were part of the turf war. No, nah, that, that would be sick though. Abandoned school just chilling there every day. Yeah, we, we brought like, like we even brought like, you know, Christian and like yeah, yeah, yeah. all the white all, all, the, all, the, all the major Oaks guys. Yeah, no, no, not even, not even them. Like Michael Dillon, all these mans, like oh, Ethan. They all yeah, ended yeah. up coming over here just because just because we, yeah. we we spread the word you guys you should have threw like a big ass party there no nah, but it's dangerous bro why like um eventually there was a uh, like silent alarms and shit oh really yeah and then like, like neighbors would call police and shit oh okay okay because it's an open area right mm -hmm. Shit, I'm like snitching on myself still. Nah, nah, you're not. It's you don't go there no more. So. Yeah, it's true. Yeah, we we can't disclose the school. They don't know where it is. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> but yeah, you know what I never got to? What are those um parties where you go in the woods? What is it called? A bush party? Yeah, bush party. That those are so like weird, fam. Why? Like, you guys are all just chilling in the forest, like. In the summer, it's a vibe. I guess. In the summer, it's nice. I guess. It's, as long as like it's not mm. bugs and shit all around. Yeah. Cause if, if you're in the right spot, it's it's cool. It's yeah, cool. yeah. Cause I had someone call me like, "Yo, this bush party is so whack. Can you come pick me up?" Mm. And then I actually went, and yeah. I, I had to follow this weird ass trail. I'm like, "What the <laughs> is going on?" The circle of people. I'm like, "Oh, all right, let's go." Yeah. <laughs> you know, just people smoking it up and shit. Like, okay, yo, you know, you you watch Project X, right? No. Damn. Okay. So in Project X, it was pretty much this like high school kid. Mm -hmm. And his parents were going out of town. It's okay. a classic like, "Oh, let's throw a party," right? Yeah, okay. Yeah. But his party ended up being the biggest party ever in the country this is in the movie yeah but ended up being the biggest party in the country mm -hmm. and he had like rappers showing up he had like the news showing up what and shit because it was so big yeah and it was literally like the craziest party you could imagine mm -hmm. for high school yeah and people were on the roof there's like flamethrowers and shit flamethrowers people were like molly you know yeah molly it's crazy yeah. i think after corona fam you can really cash out on like a big ass party because every that's what mm. everyone wants to do i know if, if i you think just, they might go crazy with it oh 100 percent. but i feel like that um if you get the vaccine and shit <laughs> yeah like unless people are, they're gonna start forcing men to get vaccines it's like oh if you if you don't have the vaccine you can't come into this party yeah you know? probably i can see that yeah i can see that <laughs> like I, but how do you prove you have a like a card <laughs> Uh, you see this dent right here? Oh, you see this hole? Yeah. I, I guess, yeah, maybe a like card. Like a hologram. Yeah, yeah, a card. Like, I got a shiny vaccine. Oh, I got the shiny vaccine. You didn't got this. Facts, bro. You know how much power that shit holds? The black, a black card, what is it called? The Am black Amex? Yeah, the black Amex card. Mm -hmm. You've heard of those? Yeah. Like, I've seen just bare videos like, yo, I'm rich. I have this black Amex card or whatever it is. Doesn't mean there's money on there. I know. That's Does what it? I'm saying. Like, I mean, I guess. Bro. I can just paint my card black. Yeah, I guess, bro. You <laughs> nah, the, the rich people, there's this metal though. They drop it on the table and go, ding, ding, ding. Oh, that yeah, one? Yeah, yeah. I've seen that shit. That one's sick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That one, those are like for billionaires. Those are for like mm -hmm. Elon Musk type people. Oh. Okay, if you had all the money in the world, mm -hmm. you're going to throw a party. Where are you throwing it? Oh, on a tropical island. On an island? Like surrounded by water. You have to come to my party on a boat. Mm. You know what I mean? <laughs> so you get lit on the boat. Once you hit the what so you hit the party, boom. I don't I wouldn't so you said a boat? No no no. So you come to the party on like an island? A nice tropical island. Mm. We have the uh, the island for ourselves, you feel me? I think I would throw a party in IKEA. Oh my god. Why? <laughs> Why? Fam. Low key IKEA. That would, nah. Think about it. Hide and seek would be prime in there, fam. No, nah, but 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 like all the furniture and shit. Yeah, yeah. Like if, if we can have a party and just like crash everything, mm -hmm. IKEA. IKEA? Cause it's so big enough where like you can go so many different places. That's fast. You can have your privacy, you want privacy, you can have like a oh. lit 
zone if you want, you know? That's actually hard. You can have a nice turn up spot like in the middle. Yeah, yeah. Fire. Like a mosh and shit. Like, I wasn't even thinking about that. Because you, you have all the money in the world, you, you know? Do, like yeah. literally unlimited possibility. Yeah. Either that or for me, it would be, you know those um those airplanes where like it's zero gravity? Zero gravity airplane? Yeah, yeah. You go in the airplane and then like it's zero gravity and everyone's like floating around like space. You would do that there? Yeah. What? Man. Imagine, imagine taking shots and then it's like in the air. Yeah, <laughs> you're like... <laughs> <laughs> Imagine no, how crazy be, that would be. No, that would be hard, fam. No, you have all the money in the world, right? Mm. Like unlimited. Damn, that that made my answer seems like so boring. <laughs> You're talking about shots in like zero gravity. Hold on. Or even like a zoo. Imagine like a zoo party. <laughs> a zoo would be fun. <laughs> Imagine you're just in the cage with the well, That's monkeys. dangerous, though. That's nah, dangerous. Well, that's kind of lit, too. Nah. Because I, I could see man's, like, take, taking the monkey. And <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. And just f***ing having yeah. it by their size. You, you've been to those, uh, what do you call those? What? When you drive around and, like, the animals come to your car. African line safari. African line yeah, safari. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those, I've never been to. Yet. you never been to that? No. Damn. I, I've been to something similar like that, too. Yeah. But it was, like, controlled in a zoo. But, like, the lion, like, started going crazy. And, like, they had to start, like, stop it. Oh, Because really? he was coming up to the cart and, like, Damn, scratching him. I'm like, oh shit. You never went there as like a kid? No. Because I remember like so perfectly, like we used to go in the, it's it kind of like a tour. Yeah, yeah. So all the animals can come up to your car and shit. You can yeah. even roll down the window. I don't think you're allowed to. Yeah. But we did. We rolled yeah, down yeah. the windows. Fuck it. And then like the fucking zebra would put the head in the oh, car yeah, yeah, yeah. and we'd like feed it chips and shit. Yeah. <laughs> chips, dog? And the monkey, we had like bananas and we'd be giving them. The closest thing I've got to that was like a petting zoo. Oh, yeah, yeah. 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 Where you feed it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. If you're going to have one animal as a pet, what do you going to have? Oh, like I was, an exotic I, animal. I I was going to ask you that question because I was searching up like the crazy craziest pets yeah oh. did you know fucking there's more there's more tigers in the united states than there is in the wild did you know that like roaming around just loose yeah there's more tigers in the united states than there is in, in the, the wild world? in the wild oh in the wild holy Isn't shit. that crazy you know you know in, in florida there's bear alligators and shit yeah and for like, sure and like there was a video of a, a crocodile mm -hmm. in in the resort's pool oh fuck really yeah, or some shit like that yeah and then they all had to evacuate they're like what the yeah, is what the alligator? Fuck? I didn't know that. But yeah, um, if I had an animal, mm -hmm. as a pet, as a pet, <laughs> the first thing that came to my mind was, uh, you know how Mike Tyson has those, those? The, the white lions? Yeah, I mean, uh, no, no, those tigers, the, tigers, yeah, tigers, yeah. and he has the pigeons or something like that. Yeah, pigeon, <laughs> like anything. It could be like aquatic. It could be like a mammal, reptile. I'd probably have like a, a big aquarium. And mm. just stuff it with like platypuses. Platypuses? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like Perry. Yeah, like Perry. <laughs> That'd be pretty cool. Yeah, stuff. yeah. Just a bunch of them though. Yeah, yeah. What would you do? You know what? You know what'd be dope if you can have an aquarium with those anglerfish. That'd be sick. Anglerfish? That's dangerous, man. No, in the aquarium though, you just look at it. Yeah. Or jellyfish. Jellyfish would be kind of cool. Jellyfish is kind of lame though. Jellyfish? Yeah. What? Jellyfish are sick. Because they glow. I, they glow. I never understood the hype of jellyfish though. They look so cool, fam. You never mm. seen it? you ever been to the aquarium yeah, in, in and Toronto? I would skip that shit. I, I mean yeah. I, I, I I go, I go past it, but I'm like, ah, right, that's really, cool. yeah. Damn, that's just so mesmerizing to me. Like, I'll really? stop, I'll stop and like appreciate it for a while. I'll just stand there and like, really, I'll like take it in. I never yeah. got the hype of that, to be honest. But it's it's literally like a live object and it's like glowing. That's it. <laughs> like, well, what's the? I don't know, bro. It's I don't like, know. I get, if, yeah, t to each their own, fam. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> So that's that's your pet pod forces? Hell yeah. That's kind of cool. Stuff. Cause they can they can walk on land too, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, just have a mini parry. Yeah. <laughs> I think I want like a kangaroo fam. Like something <laughs> oh, yo, your answers are fucked in it. <laughs> like, like, like so, something that's not gonna like kangaroos can fight, don't get me wrong. Yeah, I'm not yeah. I'm not saying kangaroos won't harm me. Oh. But I'm like saying like if, if you can if you can train a kangaroo to be like chill. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah. as a friend. <laughs> Imagine I had a kangaroo friend like right beside me. Yeah, no, that would be hard. And then like, yo, pull out the strap and like reach in this pouch. Yeah. <laughs> this guy has the strap what? in this pouch. <laughs> This guy, what the fuck? I never thought about like that too. Have you seen kangaroos fight? They're they're crazy. Yeah, yeah, they're crazy. They they like kick and shit. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Or even like a baby kangaroo. Imagine a baby kangaroo. Have you seen the inside a of joey. kangaroo though? Yeah, it's disgusting. I I thought it was gonna look like furry and stuff. No, no, it's like, like it's like Ugh. just flesh. It's not nasty, but it's like flesh. Yeah, there was a TikTok where it goes in and it's like an armpit. Yeah, it's like an armpit. Yeah, yeah. That's exactly like it. Yeah. E it's either a, a kangaroo for me, or it's like gonna be like. Probably just a lion. Honestly, like I so, something I can pet. You know what I mean? Just to feel cool, I guess. No, nah, like, like the pet. You know, the, like the mane. <laughs> the mane. Or imagine riding like a zebra, like a horse. You ride a zebra like oh, a that, horse. That, that would be <laughs> too. Yo, or if if unicorns were actually real, I would have a unicorn. A unicorn. Hell yeah. 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 Imagine just. You like, can just get a horse and tape some shit on his forehead. <laughs> <laughs> but a unicorn is way cooler. Like you know, it's like real.
But yeah, if, if I had a unicorn, I'd be like, yo, attack. And then he would just go and yeah. run into someone if I needed to. That's true. I'd be fine. Yo, take in my uncle, right? Yeah. In the Philippines, he has his dog. He has a, a Rottweiler. Okay. And he got into a street fight mm-hmm. in the Philippines. Yeah. And his dog, he attacked the guy that, yeah. that was fighting my uncle so badly mm-hmm. that he had to go to the hospital and he had to get surgery. And he oh, had to pay like a huge amount of money. His dog. Because his dog like fucked him up. I mean, yeah, they're the best. Like that's the best security fam. Mm. If you have a dog. Imagine you're in a street fight and the dog just comes at you. And yeah. then like fucking gets you right in the ribs or big something. Big dogs too. Not even the small ones. Yeah. Like the big dogs. Mm. Now imagine you and a unicorn running at you 100 miles per hour. <laughs> ready to puncture you. Okay, but a unicorn is so big though. Okay, yo, imagine how cool you would look riding down on a uh, rainbow unicorn. Just... I guess it's pretty dope, but like... I, I could vision like Uzi doing some shit like that. Because <laughs> like, Uzi's a fruity guy. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, riding around on a unicorn with a pink diamond. You know where he got that pink diamond though from? What? I mean, he, um, you, you watch Steven Universe, right? Nah, I don't The cartoon? Nah. Word. So there's like this anime character. I, I mean, know what the, it is. I yeah, know what yeah. it is, yeah. The cartoon character, that's where he got it from. The cartoon character had like... It's called Pink Diamond, I think. That that character, like, it's well, a lot of people did it, like Tsunade from Naruto. That's what you said at first, and like, then and then Vision, yeah. obviously from Avengers. Yeah, but like, it's definitely because because a lot of a lot of cultures used to have the like the jewel. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like it, it's not implanted, but it's like a jewel on their forehead, yeah, you know. True, yeah. So I guess that he kind of took like inspiration of that. That's right. It's, it's like the third eye thing, mm-hmm. right? It's, it's pretty much just third eye. Yeah, pe- people were saying it was either from a cartoon, an anime, or like the third eye. Mm. But his, you know, um, that video when he was rapping and then he had the pink cardigan to match it in, in Steven's universe. Yeah. Steven had this exact same like jean jacket he had. Word. Yeah. Oh. So he takes bear. He takes bear like influence from that. That's interesting. That's interesting. Yeah. So and people are saying that he's the one who he's gonna kill pink diamond. Okay. If if you can have something like implanted. Oh. Like what would you get? Fam. Like a, a body modification to make you like a as cool as you want. Something something so extraordinary. I would do like hair. Yeah. That's like, okay, I can switch it to anything I want at any time. Would that would that count? I don't know if that counts. Okay, I don't know if yeah. that counts. Maybe they, that's like something else, but like yeah. a body modification. You know what I get, bro? What? I get like the sharing gun. Of course you would. Like like something I can blink and then like sharing gun, blink away. Word. Imagine that. That's so sick, bro. Yeah, that is kind of cool. Cause cause I always thought like Knock on wood, but like, you know those people that, that have a missing eye? Yeah. And then they have to get like the fake placement oh, eye? yeah, yeah, yeah. Imagine how cool that would be like, you have a Sharingan one. I think someone has it. I think I saw it on TikTok. Someone has it. Mm-hmm. It's so it's so sick, bro. Really? It's so sick. I get like a silver foot or what? some shit like that. A silver foot? <laughs> For yeah. Taekwondo, you, since we covered it's up- It's made out of metal or is yeah, it just- it's made out of metal. <laughs> I'll be the hardest kicker out there, fam. Fam, you you wouldn't be able to kick though, cause it'd be so heavy. No, no, no. It would. You wouldn't be able to kick. It would be like a good a good weight to allow me to like lift it up and shit. But like, if it kicks you in the face, then mm. you're. So in street okay, fights, okay, imagine okay. in street fights. I know. Why don't you just like put steel toe? <laughs> I guess. I guess. <laughs> I would, man, man, made his whole foot. <laughs> man, made his whole foot metal. What the. So still toe boost dog. Why not? Oh, I seen I seen one where like they implant metal in their knuckles. So it's under their skin. Oh, it's under their skin? Yeah. Oh, that's cheating. That's dangerous. That's so that's cheating. That's dangerous. You see, remember that boxer who died because someone cheated and had uh, something under their glove? Oh no, he didn't he didn't die, but he got like um Oh brain damage. Yeah, he permanent, got like brain damage. Permanent bro. brain that's damage. Fucked up. Yeah, bro. Or like imagine Wolverine claws. That'd be sick. I think I think that that's one thing. Okay, like if no. I'm a mutant or some shit. Yeah, yeah. Wolverine claws would be hard to, but we're just regular people. That shit will never happen unless we're. No, we never know. What if? What if in the future we can do these modifications? Because mm-hmm. I think eventually, yeah, we're we're becoming so advanced. We can change shit. We can change our body chemistry. We Bro. can change like our cells. Yeah, we can even manipulate growing cells. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah, like we can we can manipulate. Let's say you know how they cloned uh, a lamb. Yeah, yeah, and then and then they can put shit in in it to like modify how it yeah, grows. Yeah, yeah. Like they can grow it with like an extra arm. They can yeah. grow it like bigger and stronger. Mm-hmm. Fam, even like computerized cars, everything now. Like, have you driven in a Tesla? Yeah. All computerized, fam. Mm. Like, so now imagine a hacker gets into your car. Like, I- I'm cool with like the GPS navigation system in cars. Yeah. Like, that's cool. But once it becomes all computerized, yeah. Fam, imagine the government starts controlling where you go and where to not to go. Mm-hmm. Bro, that's scary. I know. But that's that's the thing though, because as long as we still progress in technology, there's yeah. gonna be those dangers. Because when we evolve, right? Yeah. There's there's more shit that comes out that we never knew would happen. Mm-hmm. I mean, like we we didn't hear about computer viruses until what? Um, until like the two thousands, yeah. right? Mm-hmm. 
before when the the internet first came out yeah like we weren't wary of these dangers but now we know yeah so as technology progresses there's going to be more and more dangers that may come with it and yeah. that's like that's just reality right and on, wait until smart houses become like really smart mm -hmm. and then we're trapped in our houses because like of a software update nah that's <laughs> and then imagine what a hacker could do yeah, yeah. technology very fucked nowadays i know but it's cool mm -hmm. I, I'm, I still want to i still want to fly on a like a hoverboard and shit oh, i still yeah. want to like you know what i mean yeah but there's so there's so much shit like in the 80s mm -hmm. remember in back to the future yeah they predicted so much shit that they did that that would come out but never came out <laughs> yeah you know what i mean yeah and it's still like cool shit like why why can't we have that yeah why can't we have that i, I know that shit's so bad I, gu I guess they is is like just impossible to make. It's not though. If you have the right amount of money, anything's possible. Well, hoverboards are. Yeah. Hoverboards are impossible. Bro, when the Segway came out, everyone was freaking out because oh, that's like okay, we're gonna rise up from the Segway yeah. with wheels to now. Okay, maybe like that was 10 years that was so weird. That was such a weird I moment know. in time. Yeah, yeah, it was though. Because it was like it was kind of futuristic, but it's not. It's not. It, it was just taking out that the handlebar. Yeah. You know. Yeah, and 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 it's like, are we gonna do this from now on? Yeah. Nah, it wasn't even. Yeah, it wasn't yeah, even yeah. like that. Yeah. It was like a cool trend and then everyone made fun of it he was like yo look at that like during vine yeah, yeah. <laughs> look at that lame on a hoverboard right i know now it's like yeah. cringe like it's you cringe, see you yeah. see a hoverboard is cringe yeah, right. you do you think if we get to the the point in the future mm -hmm. where we have things like you remember in wally -E, everybody's in the chair and shit oh yeah, yeah, yeah so do you think when we get to a point like that where a lot of people are doing that mm -hmm. do you think it's going to become uncool uncool and because let's say let's say just like how how the segue just like how yeah. that shit came out mm -hmm. it was so cool everybody wanted it yeah like to be honest i would kind of want that too you know yeah, what i mean like 100%, to yeah. float around the fucking room mm -hmm, yeah in a chair but i think what if there's always that the edgy person in the room that's like nah fuck that yeah and, you know what I mean? I'm, I'm gonna do something else you, you know? get what i mean though right yeah, yeah, yeah there's always that person that's like nah that's not cool no more yeah i'm walking my feet now yeah. See, that's so weird to say though, because in the future we're not thinking about it right now. We're we're thinking about the future. It's in the future, it's gonna be so normalized, and then it's gonna be it's gonna be weird to walk on your feet. Maybe the segue it didn't come out at the right time. I Would guess. You say that? Nah, but I think I think it it was gonna come out anyways. Yeah. But it's just that like it's not something practical. Yeah, because it's there's not always, it's not practical. There's always something else, like, right? Mm -hmm. And even even like the Wally chair, yeah, it is practical in a sense, but it's still also unpractical. Okay, that that's it right there. It's, it's not practical. practical. It's practical but unpractical at the same time. Yeah, it de yeah. it depends how we view it though. If everybody's doing it, mm -hmm. then it's gonna be it's gonna be like, oh, that's so practical. It's everyone's doing Once it. Once it becomes a trend, like yeah, that. yeah, yeah because mean? it didn't become a trend. No one was riding it on the streets. Mm -hmm. You see one person, and then it was like, what is he doing? You yeah, know? exactly, exactly. No, I like the chair, th the chair, the fly chair would yeah i don't think it would like mm -hmm. be cool i'm surprised like heelys didn't become more big i'm it, surprised it had that's its time not gonna yeah, lie it, it, had it its definitely time. had its time but i'm surprised that that's still not a thing but okay how about the jetpacks on um the shoes so when you you can just now you just fly around like that's astro, dangerous as fuck like, like astro boy <laughs> that's dangerous as fuck but you know those guys um in the water they have those things the jetpacks in the water oh yeah that's cool where, where that's you cool. go up that's mm -hmm. sick it shoots down the water it shoots though. down the water yeah. and then you fly up but but something for like day-to-day -day life is is hard to like I don't, I don't know if there's anything like that that we can use in day-to-day -day life. Day-to-day -day life? Because the hoverboard was the thing like everyone's like, oh, we're all going to be on this now. Mm -hmm. yeah. But not really. It didn't It didn't happen. Because we can always walk, you know? What's one like technology that you want to see to like help you through your daily life? I get, okay, I had I had an invention in my head. Uh -huh. I think this is a thing now. Yeah, okay. But I always thought like when I was younger, like I can go to the washroom and then my mirror will like talk to me. Like, you know, mirror, mirror on the wall shit. That, no, that's fire. It, like it will talk to me and be like, Oh, Carlos, how are you doing today? Um, th this is your schedule. Yeah. Oh, you have to do yeah, this, yeah. this, and this. Yeah. All right. Um, you have to brush your teeth for two minutes because last night you <laughs> ate a little bit of this, so you have to brush yeah. a little bit longer. Yeah. You know what I mean, like a smart mirror. That's imagine. Kinda, yeah, that's kind of like Siri. No, that's just a. a Siri nah, but for your but mirror. but like it's more like the Iron Man shit. You know the Iron Man shit where oh, it's like it, yeah. it, it can it can predict shit and yeah, like tell you talks. exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. Not, that would be hard too. That's that's practical. Yeah, that's practical. That's and very I think, practical. I think someone made that. I think someone has yeah. to, had to. Yeah, yeah, for sure. But it's just going to be too expensive for everybody. Mm -hmm, that's yeah. the thing. But it doesn't talk to you. I think the mirror just tells you the weather mm. and like what time it is. Mm. But I guess we need AI still. Yeah. Because Siri isn't like complete. Yo, imagine Siri was like complete AI where it's like Jarvis from Ant from, from Iron Man. It knows like, exactly what you're going to you do. You ever with. watch her? No, I've heard of it though. Bro, you know what? Okay, so so when this movie Her mm -hmm. is starring uh Joaquin Phoenix, yeah. he pretty much he's a guy in the future. Yeah. And the whole society 
they started using artificial intelligence to do their day-to-day life. Yeah. So he had like a, a AI on his phone. It's mm-hmm. kind of like a Siri, yeah. but this Siri is transferable from like a computer, from a phone, from everything, from like media in your home. Yeah. And pretty much what it was is just like a person. It's literally like me talking to you, but it's AI. So you have a companion by your side. Like a oh. companion. Yeah. yeah. And then eventually in the movie, he falls in love with her and then they have a relationship. <laughs> what? Yeah. With AI. Yeah, with AI. What happens at the end? Like, um, oh, actually, I, might I don't want to spoil it. it, but when Blade Runner, it's kind of the same thing. Mm-hmm. But in Blade Runner, it's even crazier because it's way farther in the future yeah, yeah. where the AI is actually like a hologram. So you can literally like see her in front of you in and shit. In front of you? Yo, mm. imagine during quarantine you you would never be bored again. Yeah. Nah, that's like uh what's that movie with the white the white blob? Big Hero 6? <laughs> Big Hero 6. Yeah, it's like except, it's kind of like that like, kind of yeah. oh, like, like a AI real person, person. Yeah, like yeah, a yeah. real person. Yeah. And then it like in that movie, oh fuck, I don't want to spoil it. Not spoil but <laughs> but you get you get emotional, you know what I mean? It's so sad cuz you know it's not real. Yeah, exactly. But what the AI in the movie was really towards was like lonely people. Yeah. Which is true, there are a lot of lonely people that that say don't don't go out there and then make friends like yeah. make relationships with people maybe that's that's a way they can do that you know there, there was one you know movie mean? You, have you watched um love alarm nah so there's, so there's this uh japanese movie I think. yeah so they create an app oh wait i saw yeah, this yeah, yeah, i saw yeah. that so they created an app <laughs> yeah yeah where, that's a korean movie right yeah, yeah i yeah. think so where so if you walk by a person and they like love you or something yeah you'll get an alarm you'll get an alarm on your app that says this there's mm. a in a six meter a uh, six kilometer radius someone likes you yeah you know they, yeah, that's they did the exact same thing in Rick and Morty. What? <laughs> yeah, the exact same thing. Oh, no, <laughs> no, but, so but in Rick and Morty, it would it would give you like your um your soulmate. Yeah. And you would be soulmates with that person, like it would tell you, but it would change. So after you meet that person, it would change to another another soulmate. But it just so happens like it actually is your soulmate. It just it keeps changing. But what what do you mean? If you have one soulmate, that's your soulmate. Why would it change? No, nah, okay, listen, listen, listen. Okay. Right. How do okay? A soulmate is soulmate, right? Yeah. Now, let's say your soulmate dies. Okay. Will you have another soulmate? Yes or no? No. Who says who says you can't have multiple? I don't know. Who says who says you can't have multiple? There's no rules. There's no rules. So in Rick and Morty it was like, that's your soulmate. You go find your soulmate. Yeah. And then all of a sudden there's another soulmate. Replaced. Replaced. No, nah, bro, you can't say that. There's only one soulmate, fam. You think there's only one soulmate? <laughs> yeah, bro. I, I okay, okay. Maybe, maybe maybe there is. Maybe there is. Remember, remember that theory that I said on stereo? Yeah. If you have the exact same birthmark oh, yeah, uh, yeah. as the person, that's your soulmate. Yeah. So remember that there was um a girl that I had in my live mm-hmm. who I randomly picked, right? And she came in the live and everyone's spamming, yo, she has the same birthmark. She oh, has the same yeah. birthmark. <laughs> I didn't even notice. She kinda until- looked like you though. She kinda yeah, looked I like know. you. I was like, wait, what the is this me? <laughs> but yeah, bro. Yeah. Shout out my soulmate, bro. <laughs> but yeah, technology is fucked. Even the the shit that you said, I don't know, in like the past episode mm-hmm. of filters, fam, deep fakes. Yeah. F- when they um take all all your pictures on social media and they mask it onto someone's body, mm-hmm. that shit is crazy. Cause I watched the Obama video. Yeah, it's so real. Fam. It's so real. And the Charlie, the Charlie D'Amelio one, it yeah. looked exactly like Charlie, bro. I know. That's that's the thing. Like we're gonna start seeing da- more dangerous shit come out from technology yeah, bro. but at the same time all of these good shits coming out there will be a dark side to it yeah. you know i mean like filters filters in general was a good was like a cool innovation mm-hmm. but there are there is a dark side to that yeah right just like fucking when they created the atomic bomb bro it, it's so crazy i i watched a video of when when the scientist that created the mm-hmm. atomic bomb mm-hmm. he did like a whole speech he was like I become the destroyer of worlds. Oh, hell no. This was actually him. Yeah, this was the guy. Okay. He's like, and it's so true though. Mm -hmm. Because he he created the atomic bomb. Yeah. Like you press that, you launch it. Yeah. Whatever you want is gone. He he said it. He's like, I become the destroyer of worlds. Oh, boy. He said something along those lines. It's like like scary and yeah, shit it's like, but he he wasn't even saying it as like to be scary he was saying it as like uh <laughs> I, I, I did this i have this power yeah bow down you feel me <laughs> no nah, not even like that he just said like i did this and i don't know if it's like i should have yeah why, why did, did i, I do, do this? this why did i do this uh, and it's so true because i remember reading a comment in that youtube mm-hmm. video it's yeah. like the mouse never created the mouse trap but why would humans create atomic bombs oh, to trap other mice why, why would a human to want to trap kill? other mice why oh. would and then a human create an atomic bomb which can kill all humans people are evil bro crazy right like yeah. if, if you think about it like that we're like i said this already but yeah. we're not even working together as a human race anymore we're not yeah we're not and i think 
it's gonna take something like a fucking alien invasion or yeah. like something out there for all of us to like realize again we're together mm -hmm. it's not like we should be separate we're together yeah yeah but it's gonna take something like that you know what i mean it's gonna take like a threat <laughs> you know the there was the leak of the alien attack like i think we talked about this or mm -hmm. or you didn't there's some leak about the an alien attack mm -hmm. and then uh how that plays to the theory of Lil Uzi, why he put the pink diamond on his head. Why? So when the aliens finally come down, he can blend in. <laughs> what the fuck? Be like, no, nah, I'm with you guys. <laughs> it was, I was watching this video on the conspiracy theory. Yeah. <laughs> exactly, no, exactly when that yeah. leak came out, he put it on his head. That's jokes. <laughs> but yeah, but yeah, the internet is funny, bro. Well, once, once I got into like the subreddits and shit of just searching up conspiracies, it gets mm -hmm. deep, bro. I feel like I was just reading pages of your book. <laughs> Like, like, fam. Of my journal. Yeah, like, like you know why um, Bruce Lee? Yeah. Bruce Lee uh, said they died, he died of a painkiller, right? Did he? Yeah, well. I'm he died of a heart attack, I think. No, he died. I think he died because he took some painkiller. Oh, he died. shit, really? I didn't know yeah. that. But they were saying that the Chinese mafia actually killed him mm. because he was giving too many secrets about the martial arts to the West that he, they just had to oh, completely fuck. just... That's I, crazy. I get him out. Damn. Yeah. I didn't know that. That's crazy that you didn't know that because <laughs> I thought you would. Nah, I don't know everything. I just like... <laughs> The ones that come across, that come across. <laughs> your brain is just a Reddit up there. <laughs> like, -ling -ling. <laughs> like I say a word plant and then like your brain would like, okay, fly, <laughs> the file of a plant would come up. Plant theory. <laughs> and then would come out. No, I, I think what it is, is just I daydream so much. Yeah. So I always think about like weird, like creative shit, I guess. Like, yeah. like out of the ordinary, like what could that be? You know? I daydream too, but it's like. Like, I, like sometimes I'll look at a leaf and I'll be like. <laughs> What if what if that leaf has like its own world on it and there's little like green men that work there but they're so minuscule that we can't see them and then when we sh we we look at them on a microscope it's so small that we still can't see them we only see the atoms Shut the fuck up <laughs> See, I can just say some dumb shit like that. Yeah, yeah, and Loki, the people would believe it. <laughs> <laughs> no, but the way I say it, you know, it's yeah, the way, yeah, yeah. It's it's like, the way it's I say like, it. Man, I'm that. <laughs> it's like, shut up, bro. You know, you know what a famous quote is? What? I forgot who, which comedian it was, but it's, it's, he said, it's never, it's never really what you say, it's how you say it. Oh, yeah, yeah. Right? Like, like how you said, you can sell a bag of shit if it's the exactly, right marketing. Exactly, exactly. You feel me? Yeah. So if you say, like, the right tones, I guess. Because if you really study, like, how to speak and stuff like that, mm -hmm. and then you study, like, what people like to hear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It gets dangerous, mm -hmm. bro. Like, the best talker in the world can convince people, like, bread causes cancer. You can, you know what I mean? I feel like that's, like, the most... Cause that's a Loki a superpower. Mm -hmm. If you know how to convince people and shit, like the world is yours. That's like literally shit they teach you in books. Imagine, that, that's literally the secrets. Yeah, like imagine you can go up to like a bank teller and just like, convince a bro to give you twenty five thousand dollars. I'm gonna blow your mind right now. Okay. All right, all right. People know this. Yeah. That's that, that's why you see that's why you see these people controlling everything they have. You can see these people with empires. Mm -hmm. They built it upon that. Mm -hmm. They built it upon like how they can communicate yeah you know what i mean mm -hmm. that shit's real it's not like it's not like a fantasy like people do that people spend their lives to do that yeah. because the outcome is is that right if you have a proper network and you know how to talk to people exactly yeah that's like a cult you mm -hmm. know you can really just start a cult by basing off your network and just talking to people yeah that that's one of the most important things in life if you don't like if you don't know how to network fam like i feel sad bro like you should really go out and just go network and talk to people. Mm -hmm. But some people, they're so they don't put them themselves in the positions to grow, kind of that that skill. Yeah, you know what I mean? Because there a lot of people they're stuck in they're they're very comfortable. They don't want to step oh, out their comfort 100%, zone. Yeah. So when they're in that comfort level, it's very hard to like see past it. Yeah, like yeah. see, it's very hard to see like the benefits mm -hmm. after because all you're you know? thinking was like oh i'm gonna just stay here because i'm safe yeah what happens if i go out and i fail mm. like they're too scared to go out you know a lot of those people is because they haven't tasted failure that's why yeah yeah that's why bro the the most successful people failed the most mm -hmm, exactly like how, how, how many l's did i take when when i was in like first year university i took so many l's a lot, a lot, it, it was an ongoing joke that i took so many l's remember yeah. but the thing is that you you knew how to take those l's and just yeah like, keep it learned, moving <laughs> and, but the most important thing you learn from it because mm -hmm, exactly. you can take an l but you you don't sometimes you don't learn from it and yeah you just yeah. make the same mistake but same mistake mm, right? that's why every single l there's always a lesson learned we've been through all that pain bro like you don't see this you see all this success bro like mm -hmm. no bro like we've been through real pain dog they only see the finished product yeah they don't you know see I mean? 
they don't see all the hard work, the pain you've gone through to get there. Just like in a, let's say you go to a gourmet restaurant, right? Yeah. And you see the the fancy dish that that they made in front of you, mm. like a beautiful steak with like potatoes and like vegetables, right? Now you didn't see what what came out of that, what was in the kitchen. Who knows? What if the kitchen was fucking like the nastiest shit or like the hardest working? Mm -hmm. They're like sweating, yeah. blood and tears, like putting into that dish. Yeah. And people are going to criticize it if they see one little thing. Yeah. But they don't understand like how much effort it exactly. took to get those ingredients to, to make mm -hmm. that shit. You just got to work hard, bro. Mm -hmm. You got to really work hard to the point where people stop and, and look, because you're in competition with so many people. Yeah. You got to be the like the best. Because, yo, I don't even watch tennis like that, right? Mm -hmm. But if Serena Williams goes on, yeah. I'm going to watch. Because mm. she's so good at what she does that I'm going to just go watch. Yeah, there's a lot of people like that. Like the goats in their in their industry. And are the best at what they do. Yeah. Like the best. Mm -hmm. You can appreciate like how good that like the natural talent yeah. that's in them. You know what I mean? Yeah, fam. Like Conor McGregor. Yeah. Like, even if you're not a big UFC fan, you're going to stop and watch Conor mm -hmm. McGregor. Exactly, <laughs> but but Conor McGregor also is is a case of like he's really good at marketing, yeah, marketing too. Yeah, he's see, he's a classic like market. Yeah, he's the greatest fucking like shit talker or oh, like trash talker. It's not Takashi. Uh. Oh, <laughs> Takashi out here dissing King Von mm, and stuff like that. I don't know. Meek Mill. Yeah, he's going after all the big names. Yeah. Okay. I don't know. But the thing is, Conor McGregor, he mm -hmm. he trash talks, but he also fights. Takashi's not fighting. But he's proving <laughs> himself, but he, he's proving himself with the music though. Yeah. Like he's going billboard. He that's mm -hmm. his proof. He doesn't have to fight. That's his proof. I guess. Something like would that compare to it? I guess, but I always think of it like you, you, you know when you see those guys on the street that, that talk a lot of shit? Oh yeah. But like when me. it comes down to a fight, they won't fight. Like me. <laughs> <laughs> I guess. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> okay, but like but like you know what I mean, right? Yeah. Like yeah. there's there's people in the world that will talk so much shit, but they can't like live up to what they say. Yeah. But they can't when it comes down to it, yeah. they're like, nah, 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 nah. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. When it comes at when it actually comes down to it, right? Yeah. So Conor McGregor's one of those people where he'll he'll trash talking shit. But he'll back it up. But he'll still fuck you up. You yeah, know what yeah. I mean? Oh, 100%. He'll still fuck you up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's not like Takashi's talk, talking all this shit, but like mm. he's not throwing hands with you. Yeah. So you can look at it both I that's how I see it, but a lot of people don't look at it like that. Yeah. You know what I mean? It depends like who you are, like how how you perceive things. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but the fact is like Takashi doesn't have to go out his way to fight. Like he doesn't have to do that. But I guess he is talking all this shit. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, okay, I get it. I get it. Right? Yeah, I get it. Like when it comes down to it, he's gonna be on his knees, like, oh don't touch me, don't touch me. You know what I mean? You think? Yeah, what the fuck? You think you think Takashi's gonna fight? You never know. Yeah, he would. He's from New York. Nah, Takashi said in an interview himself, he's like, Oh, he, he wouldn't, he, he wouldn't? Fight. Okay. Damn, I had I had trust in Takashi. But but that, that that's why that's why I have like I have respect for Takashi though, because he he's not afraid. Yeah. He's not afraid. Mm -hmm. Right? But at the same time, it's all it's all like a it's all an illusion. <laughs> Holy fuck, it's a big illusion, fam. <laughs> like he's playing illusion. with all of our minds right now. Yeah. Yo, I bet you though, there's some people in like ancient history, or not even just ancient, mm -hmm. like I'm talking about Napoleon mm -hmm. era yeah. and all of these like wars that happened, Stalin. Uh -huh. I bet you there's some people that did that shit. Like when when there was kings and like castles and like the medieval times. Did what though? There were some people that talked shit and oh. then they're like, yo, you can't touch me because I'm in this castle. <laughs> like the Takashi, the Takashi, your fucking medieval oh, time. Yeah, the revolution. That's so funny, fam. <laughs> they weren't internet bangers back then, fam. <laughs> no, but there was like real beef. There's real beef where like they'll kill you. Yo, do <laughs> you ever watch that movie, The King? No, it's with Timothy Chalamet. You know Timothy. Yeah. Chalamet. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So he did a movie, The King. I think it's um. Don't get me wrong. It may be King Charles. Yeah. King Henry, one of those kings, right? Yeah. This is like long, long time ago. Uh -huh. So medieval times. Pretty much what happened was the French mm -hmm. supposedly sent him a ball on his birthday when, when he was king. Okay. And that was pretty much to symbolize that he's a boy because gave him a ball, right? That was like this. Yeah. So he took that. He uh -huh. took that as like a disgrace. Yeah. Okay. Not 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 only did he take it as a disgrace, his kingdom saw it as a disgrace. Oh, right. So they were so, human. So they were mad. That he's not gonna do anything. So he's like, okay, I have to go to war. I have to now. I have to go to war. They're clowning me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They're clowning me. They're calling me out. <laughs> because they rolled the ball in their kingdom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They gave it, they gave him a ball. Yeah. So he's like, we're gonna go to war now. Damn, just because of ball? It's because of that. That's crazy. Now it's a, a tweet. That now, now, it's, now it's a tweet and it's not even like real violence. It's not, it's not. See, cause cause when it comes down, look, 
a lot of this shit, a lot of like, let's say bullying, a lot of like internet drama, yeah. it's never physical anymore. You know what I mean? It's, not, it's that, that, that's why they have this, this false illusion where they can talk all this shit and nothing's going to happen to them. Yeah. It's because they haven't touched violence. You know what I mean? Yeah, exactly. They haven't, they haven't touched like real violence. I'm not saying Takashi didn't cause he's definitely yeah, seen yeah, violence, yeah, yeah. but like some people, mm-hmm. when they talk shit, they don't understand. Like there's some shit they can do to you. Remember the, the Tekka interview? Yeah. Where he's like, I, uh, I got guns, I got guns or something. And he's like, no, I don't have uh, any straps. Yeah. And he's like, I drive Tesla, I drive Tesla. No, I don't have any cars. <laughs> yeah, I saw that. Like, I saw bro, that. like everything, everything now is you can really just fake it until you make it. See, it's all over the marketing, right? Like it we, is. We, we don't look too deep into it. Yeah. But if we actually, it depends on the person, like I said. Yeah. If you're the person to like look into it, like, oh, is he actually living up to what he says? Yeah. Then that's when it's a problem because that fan that thought you were doing all this shit is going to be like, ah, oh, wow it was all fake this whole time i heard it was a sham you know what i mean bro i heard that concerts like marketing too concerts don't book rappers based on how big their chain is that's true obviously which is crazy i'm like wait what i didn't know that though what do you mean like if if you have if you don't have a chain on or like a big enough chain they won't book you wait what no that's not true no they did wait that that's what you're saying no, the, the, I I remember watching it in an interview. Yeah, with like YBN something. Nah, like, that's bullshit. No, no, they they won't book you if if like you're not showing like this money and all this. I I guess that's where it plays in. Like, okay, if they don't see money, then not nah, book you. okay. But like, I'll find the interview. I'll find the interview. But numbers don't lie, bro. Numbers yeah. don't lie. So in my opinion, if I'm gonna book somebody, I'm gonna look at their numbers rather than fucking their jewelry. I guess. Like you can you can have the big you can have like a laptop on your chest yeah. off of a chain. And I'm gonna be like nah. If if you only have like a certain amount of listens obviously i'm gonna choose fucking like someone like billy eilish he doesn't have no chain but then you see those guys who dress up who dress up as rappers and get on the stage right so sometimes it works bro yes <laughs> like you can dress up uh fake chains fake grills fake everything and still get up on stage right? you, th- you think the image of a rapper is gonna change image of the rapper because the image of a rapper has been the same for a long time what like the thug the yeah the, the only time it's really changed was when um x came into the game that's when that's when kind of the image was changing because like the emo rap. I was gonna say emo type like, thing. Like uh trippy red. That was when it started to change. But like now it's kinda back to like it's man's with big chains. Yeah. I mean grills. Mm, it's becoming more feminine. You think so? Yeah, the chokers, the grills. No one had stuff in their teeth, like diamonds and mm-hmm. teeth like that. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Actually, yeah, you're right. You're right. Even Young Thug. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. What do you think is gonna happen with the future of um like performance artists? Like how how do you think how do you think Things will change after COVID. But they would just go back to their regular concerts. You think it should like be that? like a regular concert? Big festivals, big all that. Did you see like those virtual those virtual concerts and shit? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah? It's, it's so lame. They're all, they're all uh, like, so the, the rapper would be on stage and then he'd be performing in front of a big screen with like 20 Zoom people. Yeah. It's so lame, bro. I know. It's so It's lame. not the same. It's not the it's same. Not the same. Well, what's that big concert that... um. Uh, they always hold Rolling Loud. Yeah, yeah, Rolling Loud was not it. Mm. Like you see all the flaws in the artists now because when they're not singing, they're trying their hardest, but they're out of breath and shit. <laughs> That's the thing, because a lot of the time when when we see uh, rappers perform, it's not it's it's, ju- it's just the music playing and then yeah, they're just yeah. lip syncing. And they're it. like, "Yo, let's go!" Yeah. But now they actually have to perform. Yeah, that's true. And it looks so it's so awkward, fam. One of the greatest performers though is Travis Scott, bro. Have you seen Travis Scott? He actually like, raps it. Really? Yeah, he actually spits. Like, he no, actually- I, ha- I haven't seen a virtual Travis concert yet. Oh no, like just just like on a on stage, just watch any oh, of his live where? live videos. Oh yeah, hundred percent. Yeah. Like he spits. You know what I mean? He's the one that's doing everything. Even the baby, the baby's nice oh, too. My- and his his raps are so fast. Yeah. I don't know how he does that. <laughs> Did you see as a you a bitch, Jojo Siwa bitch. you a bitch Jojo Siwa bitch let <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah um, it's a I don't know why bro that's so funny I was like yo Jojo Siwa pulling up to the baby's crib <laughs> <laughs> and she's taller than him too yeah I know hello rappers are yo Megan the Stallion is like if you compare it to the baby there they had like a little video yeah she's super is she, tall. Is she like five eight something like that no she's like yeah actually yeah five ten something like that mm. but like like built yeah she's know? built she's built she looks like she would like sit on the baby yeah <laughs> and like nothing would happen yeah. slow it down yeah. sit on the baby <laughs> <laughs> You know what memes killing me, fam? The Wu, yeah. the Wu guy, the yo, I watched. Oh, Jimmy Wu. <laughs> yeah. Well, that was the. We you watched Wandavision? Like, yeah, I did. You, you did? Yeah. yeah. Do you know the theory about Wandavision? Mm-hmm. Which one? <laughs> Which one? I know all of them. <laughs> I, like, yeah, you tell one. You tell. Actually, let me tell one. Okay, go, you go, you one. go. So you know when um when Wanda went into Agnes's house, yeah, and they were playing um, 
Yo Gabba Gabba. Oh yeah, I one saw of that my one. favorite shows. Yeah, yeah. So that represents um, the Infinity Stones. Mm-hmm. So the red, the red character, I don't know his name, represents I think the Power Stone. Uh, the pink one represents a. Oh no, the pink one represents a power. There's like there's like four of them. There's right? four of them, but they all represent or five. Yeah, because yeah. there's six Infinities. Yeah, yeah. But they all represent the stones, mm-hmm. and they were playing a song. <laughs> Um, the jumpy jump song, which uh, indicates how Wanda was traveling through time. Oh yeah, yeah. Not nah, and then one, one one part of the theory you forgot was there were five of them. Mm-hmm. One was missing, which was the robot. The robot, yeah, which yeah. Which was Vision because Vision was occupied. Yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. I, I have a theory for Wanda Vision though. I think I've seen you like. How to- and Wanda Vision, they're doing a lot of um, things with the multiverse, right? Mm-hmm. Like the new Spider Man is gonna have all three Spider Men. You know that? Oh no, I did, I did. I see an ad. Yeah. And in Doctor Strange, they're gonna have, they're gonna introduce the multiverse with all of these mm-hmm. new characters, right? Yeah. This is just a crazy theory. Yeah. Like this is probably not gonna happen. But my theory was that because um, the actor for Vision, mm-hmm. he said he's gonna work with a new character, and the actor he always wanted to work with before, yeah. but he's never got a chance to. And Wanda, like the actress for Wanda, she said that there's going to be a cameo in the in the show yeah. that's as big as Luke Skywalker showing up in Mandalorian. Oh, so shit. Luke Skywalker, Luke? One, the first character yeah. in the first movie of the franchise mm-hmm. showed up in Mandalorian, right? Yeah. Now what's comparable to the first character of Marvel? Spider-Man. Oh, shit. So they're going to bring back Tobey Maguire for the multiverse. For the multiverse? In WandaVision. Oh, that would be hard. Imagine, bro. Imagine we see Tobey Maguire in WandaVision. It low-key might happen, fam. It might happen. It's not even a crazy theory. Like, I see that happening. Yeah, because they're playing with they're playing with the multiverse and shit. Yeah, yeah. And Tobey Maguire is going to be in, in uh, Spider-Man Confirmed. Yeah. He's going to be in Doctor Strange Confirmed. Mm-hmm. So it's going to lead... And WandaVision is supposed to lead up exactly to oh. those. So we might see Tobey Maguire... <gasps> In WandaVision. Because she said it's just as big as when Luke Skywalker was in Mandalorian. What's just as big? Whoa. It's got to be that. Remember in uh, the Avengers? Yeah. When Spider-Man came on the screen? Everyone was going yeah, crazy. Yeah, exactly. Everyone was going crazy. So now, now everyone loves Spider-Man. Yeah. Like that, that's the GOAT. Yeah, Spider-Man. <laughs> he's, he's the one that... This, the first Spider-Man movie was the mm-hmm. Marvel movie that made it everyone like, okay, superhero movies are it's a thing. cool now, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because they did it with X-Men. They did it with like a bunch in the past, but it wasn't to that level of like, everyone's like on it. Everyone yeah. loves it. Yeah. But when the first Spider-Man came out, that shit changed the game for Marvel movies. It was a way, fam. For superhero movies in general, it changed the game. Till till this day, I still love watching Spider-Man. Mm-hmm. Like, I don't think it'll ever get old to me. It's so nostalgic too. Yeah. Like, it doesn't... It, 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 it holds such a special place in your heart. It's like it, sentimental. Yes, bro. Right? Like even the, like I played the video game yeah. where you could just freelance. That was my favorite game because you can just go wherever you want mm. and swing around. Like, like a free roam. Yeah, 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 like free roam games, yeah. bro. Like that was the best. And then shout out to the... the hey, yo, who the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> if y'all know, if you know, you know. If you know, I, you know. I, I, saw, I saw this in the in the, the Valley Village store. in the thrift store. I'm like, yo, I have to get this, bro. <laughs> yo, who the fuck? Hey, yo, who the fuck? Yo, who the, yo, Abby, move. Who the fuck is <laughs> Yo, who the fuck is this? Yo, let me get two steak and cheeses, my G. Yeah. Who the fuck? <laughs> Classic meme. That's one of my favorite vines, bro. That was the best <laughs> one, fam. Man, I miss Vine, bro. Like, I, I remember uh, searching up, like, wh- what are Viners doing now? King Batch is doing pretty good. Yeah, they're all doing really good. They're mm, all doing really good. All. But, like, the, the top ones, like oh. Logan Paul, Jake Paul, yeah. they're killing it. They came from a seven second video. Take that in. Yeah. Like, that's crazy. Mm. And that's going to be the same thing with TikTok, bro. It's yeah. the same shit. My friend texted me today. He's like, yo, I got 200 followers off my brand mm-hmm. just because I posted a TikTok. And then I was telling him that yeah. he should go post on TikTok because he has TikTok worthy clothes. You yeah, yeah, yeah. Like it would blow on there. Mm-hmm. And he's like, yo, I should have done it earlier. I'm like, yo, shout I've out. I've been saying that. Like, oh. so, so he's like, I'm like, shout out me, but shout out Carlos. <laughs> <laughs> you feel me? Because no one did that at the beginning. Yeah. No one did it because it was only like a dance app. Yeah. You think um, TikTok's going to have pictures now? I don't know if they're going to have pictures. I don't know about that. Yeah. But I think it's going to be more social. You know what? Yeah. You, you know, know you know how Instagram's so social? It is. Yeah, yeah, But yeah. But TikTok's kind of missing that little bit of... It is. A little bit. Because so- all you can do is kind of scroll and comment. Yeah, yeah. But, it. but once, it, once it touches that, yeah. I think it's going to change. Yeah, because no one uses like TikTok DMs. Yeah, kinda, yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Like that's not a thing. Mm-hmm. Like it's not cool. That's that's what Instagram's known for kind of. Mm-hmm. TikTok have stories. It doesn't have stories or nothing like that. You can just go live. Yeah, there's no stories. There's no yeah, stories. Yeah, like they're missing something. But I think once once it has... I don't know, but, but the, 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 the big ups like on the... What do you call it? The creators, they definitely know what's going to work. Yeah. And I feel like they're holding it off for now because it's still working because mm-hmm. they don't want to change anything until like 
shit kind of like dips, you know? Yeah. Did you know Polaroid? They had the patents for um for film cameras. Oh yeah. no, was it film camera or digital? They oh, had right. a patents for digital, but they didn't want to. They didn't want to use it until <laughs> they stopped selling their their film. Really? Did you know that? No, I didn't. So they had it. They had it in the bag already. It was already invented. Why didn't? But they, do they it? didn't. They didn't want to drop it because the film was still doing so well. Yeah. Right. Because the moment the moment they they come out with the film, mm-hmm. or I mean, they, the moment they come out with the digital, they can't use film. Right. They can't use film no more. So they're but they're shooting themselves in the boot. You know what I mean? What What's really popular is coming back. Is like people are going. I guess kind of, but like less high definition, but everyone's using those old cameras now. Yeah, like yeah, yeah. film, like they want to look, their, like their pictures are old. Because they want, they want the raw edge the type raw, of, yeah. you know what I mean? Because there, there's, there's such a like, there's like an art to something that was handmade or if it was yeah. like I get people, raw, raw edit, yeah. you know? People get attracted by that, I guess. Because when everything's so clean and so cut perfect, mm-hmm. it's nice to like look back at like the raw edge. It's nice to look back at like the, unfinished kind of work in progress oh yeah because even with fashion look at fashion it's a lot of work in progress shit that's all it is though Mm -hmm. it can always be improved that's why that's why that's why i think vhs's and shit are coming back because we miss that kind of like old view of tv because everything's so perfect crystal clear hd fucking 8k this and that sometimes it gets kind of okay let me let me switch it up yeah it gets tiring because that's so we're so used to that we kind of like miss the old you know yeah it's just trends it'll come back that's with everything though that's with everything i think Nostalgia will always hold a place in history. Yeah, that's your favorite word. <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> Nostalgia. It is. Stuff. Yeah. But it will always hold a place because like, look at cars. Yeah. The classic cars always, they're always the most sought after. Mm-hmm. I mean, the older cars, even like the imports and shit. Mm-hmm. Like it's always goes back to nostalgia. They want to they wanna chase that effect of the past and bring it to the future. Because I guess nostalgia is just... I want to go back to the feeling I had back then when mm-hmm. I had this. And it's always it's always revamping, you know. It's always yeah. like because as new shit comes out, the new shit back then becomes old. old. Yeah. So just like Trap Queen with Fetty Wap, that shit's nostalgic now. But imagine <laughs> saying that like a few years ago, that like nostalgic. Yeah, but I mean, Trap Queen never went like I can still listen to that. Right exactly, now, that's though. what I'm saying. That's yeah. what I'm saying. So Trap Queen, like if if, if you said that a few years back, like what the fuck, nostalgic? Yeah. What are you saying, nostalgic? Mm-hmm. But now it's like. It's nostalgic. Because that, that 2050, I don't know, 14, 15, 16 era? Yeah, that sound what? is different. Yeah. And it was like, that that year just reminded you of happiness. So you go mm-hmm. back to that song, yeah. you get happy again. Exactly, yeah. yeah. And there's a lot of there's a lot of artists and songs. That, like Bobby Shmurda. You know why I think Bobby Shmurda is going to do so well this year? Oh, it's because everyone's thinking back at, oh at when, when he dropped uh, the, the track. Once his hat, I think the best um, meme that he could do in a music video was his hat coming back down. Yeah. Landing on his head, and he starts rapping. <laughs> that would be sick. He should do that. Bobby, yo, if do that, please. Because <laughs> the internet would go crazy over that. Fact. But shout out Bobby's out now. Oh, this is the this is the time where Corona started. Was it? It was early March. Oh yeah, it was still. So it saying was. it's been a year. This whole time, so in a year of Corona, yeah. What's like the biggest lesson you learned? Biggest lesson I learned? Yeah, in this year since we're having a like, Corona anniversary. It's like a lesson I always knew, but I I actually like lived it. Mm-hmm. The lesson I lived was there's always a silver lining to something terrible, mm-hmm. and that proves it. You know what I mean? This proves it. That's true. There's always a silver lining. Like sure, just let's say something bad happens, right? Yeah. There's always something you can take back from it. Mm-hmm. It's never gonna be. It's not. It's not like this is the end. This is it. You can. You can. You can change from what that was. Yeah. Be better. Always gonna be a bigger opportunity, mm-hmm. even though there's like a bump in the road. And another big lesson I learned was really appreciate what you have. Oh. Pfft. Really appreciate the moments that that you had in time. Mm-hmm. Like going out, we took that for granted. You know what I mean, we I don't took think, yeah. going going to parties for granted. We took like. Meeting people on the street for granted, concerts and shit. After this, after this, I don't think I'm gonna miss any motive. Like, y- you want to go look at geese? I'm there. <laughs> Fam, remember in the summer, like I wanted to do everything every yeah, single yeah. day. You're, you're the main line. Carlos said, "Yo, what's the motive?" Yeah, like, I'm bored. Let's go do something. Everyone's like, "Uh." I know, and the men's wanted to stay home I'm and like chilling. play games and yeah, like. Yeah. I, I don't want to do that. Outside. I know. <laughs> I didn't want to do that. Yeah. Like I wasn't the type to just like. I'm gonna put my head in the game and then I'm just gonna like play my my day away. I can't do that anymore. Like I wanna go out yeah. and see what's out there. I wanna go make memories because I know memories are gonna last me my lifetime, mm-hmm. not just moments on the video game. And I see everyone starting all these businesses. It's good. Yeah. It's good that everyone's trying to trying to go get their money. That's that's what's that's the that's the silver lining of of Corona of the yeah. lockdown. Yeah. Was like everybody's like, okay, I have this extra time. What can I do with my extra time? Mm-hmm. And exactly. 
is building your own business. Yeah. Something like that. Side I, hustles. Yeah. I, I think if, if I didn't have this podcast, I think my social skills would have been like, toned down a bit because I, I wasn't talking to to people like i was just always in my room like Where? imagine just going out after a year yeah of just quarantining yeah just talking to your friends on thing like uh, I'm, I'm a bit rusty like mm. i'm kind of awkward but yeah this I, is good. yeah that's kind of true because a lot of people were, were inside so much yeah it's gonna be hard to like go back i know yeah imagine that day comes where boom uh the government says okay corona's done mm. everyone can go outside Imagine how hectic that day would be. I know. Mask off by future, number one charts. It is, it is. <laughs> it's gonna be, it's gonna number be. Number one in the charts, fam. Like, what was like the first thing, bro, you're doing? The thing is, I've, I've already adapted where it's like... <laughs> you're full like, on, I, like, you're full on quarantine mode. Like, yeah. Like, okay, you can have that. We can continue of- this for like a couple of years. I don't care. Yeah. Like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do my thing. 100%. But sure, it changes, then sure, like, I'll do some yeah. stuff. But like, I'm not, I'm not focused on, I can't wait, I can't wait, I can't wait until like, shit's over mm-hmm. and that's not gonna be me i'm gonna be like i'm doing my thing yeah me too. when it's when it's done it's done it's done it's done yeah and people wouldn't get that because it's like yo well, why though you don't want to you don't want to go outside but we've done it for like okay we know we know um kind of the ins and outs of quarantine now mm-hmm. i we're gonna stick to this plan until it's, it's over that, that's the thing right like there's there's always something to it there's always some silver lining to shit that happened mm-hmm. you just always have to it's it's like half empty half full are you yeah. going to look at it half empty or half full? Yeah. And a lot of people like, yo, when you actually look at a glass, those yeah. people that see half empty and don't see half full, it's actually a serious thing. It is. Because that, that really tells you your mindset is different. Mm-hmm. If you see half full, then it's half full. If you see half empty, it's half empty. Yeah. Like next next time, next time you guys are okay. just have like a glass on your table, just look at it. I mean, and if you see half empty, you're going to have to change that. Then maybe mindset. that's a wake up call. Like. You have to change my mindset. I know, but the thing is like, okay, if you were g- to give advice on someone to change their mindset, where would you start? Where would I start? Because it's it, like, it's hard changing your mindset from going uh, always, always negative to always positive. Like it, it takes time. Like what's one trick that, that helped you kind of? I mean, for me is putting myself around the right people yeah. and not necessarily physically, mm. not necessarily physically, but the content that I consume. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I'm going to take in the content that's good for me. Yeah. Like, I'm not going to just watch, like, stupid interviews, like, mm-hmm. stupid shit. I'm going to, like, take in the shit I can learn from. Mm-hmm. I mean, that's why, that's why, that's why I always, like, shout out fucking Gary V, Joe Rogan. Like, they teach me so much. Yeah. I learn from them. It's, like, almost like they're my friends. Yeah, you learn a lot from them than you learn from f***ing bull, fam. Right? Like, it's crazy. It's kind of like going back to the AI friend. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, a virtual friend. They're, like, my virtual friends. Yeah, you know they what are. I mean? yeah. Like, they're my virtual mentors because I study them. I, like, listen to them. I listen to them talk. Mm-hmm. It's like I'm around them more than, like, people, yeah. my other friends. Yeah. Just because I consume their content, right? Yeah, and social media too is is big because a lot of social media is really bad. It can like take a toll on your mental. Exactly. So some people they're taking in the content, but it's not the right content. It's not the right content, right? Yeah. They're taking in the the stupid content that that doesn't like build them up. It doesn't like change them. Yeah. It just it just puts them in worse positions, or it, it it puts their mindset in like a shitty position where you don't you don't see the better in things Mm -hmm. right something that was really powerful that someone told me was um he's like i'm feeling lonely in quarantine but you and carlos were like my virtual friends Mm. and you guys keep me like sane and that shit is so yeah that's what i love bro like that made like that always makes whenever i read something like that that makes me go even harder yeah facts like it inspires me to just go out okay this is like this is what god put me on the world to do i'm gonna just go keep doing it Mm. the one thing i always tell like to to my family is like a lot of kids out there they just need like a big brother figure to look up to. They do, like, yeah. If I can just be that, then that that's good enough for me. Cause growing up, cause being the you're the oldest. Yeah, I am yeah. the oldest. But I didn't have like um, I guess a cousin that I looked up to. But it was like you and all my boys. Mm. Like you were my big brothers to me, mm-hmm. and I learned from you. So. Yeah, fam. Just remember, guys, like keep your circle. N- know know what you're learning from, and know the people around you. Yeah. And try to be the best out of that. When when I was coming up on this fashion stuff. Yeah. Like. There was only like one person that really like like push it out, go push it out, because he saw the exact same thing as me. Mm-hmm. Like BG was the only one who like, even, you know, my my ideas are kind of crazy, but he yeah. always said, "No, push this, push this," because yeah, yeah. he knew it. So I'm gonna make sure, like, when I'm up, bro, like first my family and my all my boys, especially mm-hmm. BG, like mm-hmm. he eats too. Yeah, you got to keep people like that in your circle because there's not a lot of people like that. Mm-hmm, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. You want to end it there? Yeah. That was we'll a good episode. Yeah, stuff. Yeah, I. I- 
right, go follow us on Instagram. Oh, I got to shout out all the people on my live because I forgot to do that. So we had, so if you follow me and Carlos on Instagram, we do crazy stuff on there. We had people shaving their <laughs> eyebrows, eating cat food, jumping into the pools with eating pepper. Yeah, yeah, go, go, go. Go, go, go. Oh! <laughs> Anything for the hoodie. <laughs> Go, oh, go, 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 go,